Hi everyone, it's Panda here. In this video, we're going to give you two builds that can help you clear up Tempered Volcana instantly. Switch X. This build is similar to the endgame Switch X build video that we posted with some skills that are tweaked. The build needs you to tenderize to reach 100% affinity. Tenderizing the part will increase your damage to its part since it becomes a weakened spot. Give your meat a good old rub. 100% affinity plus nice tenderized part <laughs> would allow you to do more damage than just 100% affinity with no tenderize. The same goes with enraged monsters. If the monster is enraged, then the tenderized part takes more damage. The 100% affinity comes from weakness exploit 50%, edge data 7 20%, maximum might 5. 40%, Critical I2, 10%, Augmentation, 10%. In subtracting the weapon's negative 30% affinity, we get a net affinity of 100%. On the offensive side, we have Critical Boost 3 to boost critical damage and Peak Performance to boost damage when your health is full. This build also has Divine Blessing 5 to reduce damage taken. Evade Window 5 to help you dodge easily, Stun Resistance 3 to prevent stuns, Light Resistance to prevent light, Power Prolonger that extends your Switch X M meter up time. The augmentation will be 1 Affinity, 1 Health, and 1 Elemental. Now to the sticky build. Surprisingly, Safi Aqua Shot remains the ultimate light bow gun to use for Sticky even after the Fatalis update. Victory is mine. Oh! As its Sticky Cap damage wins all other light bow gun, even the Fatalis light bow gun. Additionally, its true CC ammo, paralysis and sleep helps you control the battle, which makes Aqua Shot superior to other light bow guns. This build is also extremely strong in its evasion because of its evade window 5, so use it to dodge attacks. While you're at it, you could also reload at the same time with the evade reload mods. Win win. Now you can save on sticky ammo with true razor sharp from Vitalis 4 piece armors and not be restricted by jewel slots or set bonuses. In this build, the sticky cap damage is maximized by eating for Feline Bombardier. Attack up large, 1 Mega Demon Drug, and 1 Demon Powder or Might Seed when Agitator is not active. Since Sticky Damage is not affected by Affinity or Critical Boost, but only by Artillery, we went for full on attack skills with Artillery 5, Attack Boost 6, Peak Performance 3. The Wingless Exploit 1 is a side skill from Vitalis Beta Shirt. And the Agitator 2 is also a side skill from Brachidium Gloves. We're using their shirt because of its evade window and jewel slots, so just ignore the weakness exploit here. And we're using the gloves because of its artillery 3. Since sticky damage is already capped, we're going to add other skills for utility and defense. Slugger 5 for more stuns. Evade window 5 for better dodging. Tool Specialist 5 for reducing the cooldown of the mantles. Free Element or Ammo Up to put more clips in ammo. Divine Blessing 5 to reduce damage taken. Stun Resistance to prevent stuns. And Fortify to increase attack and defense in case of faints. For the upgrades of the Safia Pashat, we're going to go for all attacks. And the augmentation is pretty much up to you, but we went for one attack and one health. Now to the mods of Safia Koshot, it's the same mods as before, 2 evading reloads and 2 recoil. Alright, that's all we have for you today in this video. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, bye bye.